Welcome back to Die Cash Cars. So today we got a Super Sunday showcase, and I want to talk about Liberty Walk, highlighted by this Team Transport LB Silhouette GT Nissan 35 GT RR version 2. Or guys, simply put, as we know it, the Liberty Walk GTR. And you guys know on this channel, I love my first in the significance of cars and their releases and this one just screams all of that because it's the first time that we get the liberty walk gtr in a premium format it's the first time that we get this flip side hauler which has been highly anticipated and overall the presentation just looks great but let's first take a look at how we got to this guy right here going all the way back to 2010 when we did get that first Nissan GTR casting and here I have one of the first editions in the silver color still a classic still a casting that everybody really shoots for when it comes to JDM die cast and I would say right around the 2010s and up that is when JDM started to rise so we were already excited from a collector standpoint that JDM was making a breakthrough when it came to die cast cars then fast forward to 2021, we get this little gem right here, the Liberty Walk GTR, fully licensed, wide body kit version of this silver GTR right here. And man, this thing just took the die cast community by storm. I mean, obviously all of the premium die cast makers were already making it, but to see this in a $1 Hot Wheel in 2021 was pretty insane, guys. And now with the Liberty Walk floodgates open 2022, we got the Liberty Walk Nissan Silvia S15. And this is the true colorway of this car in real life as well too. So basically, this team transport right here is basically a marriage between the Liberty Walk GTR and this S15 Silvia. That's how this little beauty right here came to be. And the other really interesting and really neat aspect that Hot Wheels paid a lot of attention to is that all of these cars are real. There is a real Nissan GTR Liberty Walk wide body in blue, although it doesn't say Liberty Walk on it, it says Calsonic. There is an actual Liberty Walk Nissan Silvia S15 in this white and yellow color scheme. And there is a Nissan GTR Liberty Walk gtr as well too in this same color scheme here even this transport guys they have a fleet of transports with these butterfly opening truck doors and the cab itself looks a lot like this although in real life it's mitsubishi i'm sure there was some licensing that hot wheels could not capture with that transport vehicle but they did their best unlicensed model or not it looks very similar to the actual transport cars that Liberty Walk uses. So with that little history lesson out of the way, let's get this bad boy opened up. And guys, I only found one of these at Walmart. I paid the $15 for it, but this one, guys, you can honestly agree with me that it's too nice to keep in package. And fingers crossed, I find another one so I can keep it carded but I had to get one of these in hand just to kind of take in all of the details and yes that's what I've seen from a lot of the reviewers is that the truck itself is a separate piece so this trailer here it's a metal base plastic body essentially is how they get all the intricate details on it this cab is just sweet I mean if this came out as a casting all on its own it would have some popularity. It's got the little tow hitch on the back there. And then the prize piece itself, the GTR. And I know we've seen this cast a number of times in mainline, but it looks, for some reason, even better in premium. And the weight, the heft to it, just looks really good. One thing about these GTRs as well too, is that I really enjoy the fact that they're able to extend the acrylic down to the headlights so the car just looks way more complete and then obviously with nissan skylines and gtrs you always get the classic signature quad tail lights in the back and then just diving into the trailer piece here and what it can do again butterfly doors on a trailer 
you get to hook it up to the truck itself, which doesn't seem to stay very well. And the turn radius is very minimal. But again, these are probably more display than play models. Then you got the GTR, the ramp. Again, really doesn't extend all the way down to the bottom. So again, not super realistic. But once you slide the car in, it looks pretty cool. It's a presentation all on its own. And guys, that is next level die cast right there. I mean, something you wouldn't expect to see from Hot Wheels. And we've yet to see this from Hot Wheels. But again, I think it just goes to show that 2024. And I think we can rest assured that moving forward, die casts are going to get more intricate, more detailed. We're going to get some pretty awesome collaboration pieces like this that reflect what these cars look like in real life. So as I was saying, this Liberty Walk GTR Transport, I did pick it up for $15. Secondary market price right now sitting at about $20 to $25. I personally feel like the value of this transport here will probably stay in that price range, about $30. But honestly, guys, moving forward, as we've seen with a lot of the previous team transports as the inventory start to dry up at our stores the prices are definitely going to go up this one in particular it's just super nice first of a kind can't deny it if you don't have one definitely get out there and pick one up but as this is a super sunday showcase and we do have a little bit more time here let's just go through and do a little recap of all the other liberty walk castings that have come out that have really excited the diecast community starting with this er34 coming out of mountain drifters this one still a fan favorite and in association with the mountain drifters er34 you got the chase piece quick market update on this one still sitting in that 250 dollar price point always being listed at $300. I truly feel like it's only a matter of time before this does in fact hit that $300 price point. Another Liberty Walk ER34 and not officially a Liberty Walk car, but a play on collaboration with Fast and the Furious. And again, how Hot Wheels gets these licenses and collaborations. We will never know, but this is no doubt a super cool piece, Target exclusive, and because of that, guys, secondary market, this has really been creeping up the price points on eBay sold listings. I want to say at the time that I picked this up, it was no more than $50 to $60. Right now, $90 is the latest sale. The one prior to is $80. So basically, right under that $100 threshold, I mean, no doubt moving forward, it's going to continue to creep up over $100. I think it's within the realm of possibility, you guys. And then from 2022, we also got this Slant Eye Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR Ken Mary. This one, honestly, guys, will always and forever be my favorite Liberty Walk car. Just for the pure and simple fact that I have always known Liberty Walk for doing very wild and outlandish body kits. And this was the first one that I was ever really exposed to. I mean, this had to be in the mid 2010s of when I learned about Liberty Walk and when they put this out. It wasn't my cup of tea at first, but it definitely grew on me. And to see Hot Wheels put this out in 164 and the actual cotton candy blue color with the yellow accents here and there i think this is so cool i mean it's just so rad I had to add this into my collection and yeah still one of my favorite liberty walk castings to this date and last but not least you got this hot wheels ferrari f40 which has absolutely nothing to do with liberty walk because as we know hot wheels lost that ferrari license but you gotta imagine if hot wheels still had the ferrari license along with this liberty walk collaboration we would 100 percent get that ferrari f40 with the liberty walk wide body which is just taking social media by storm and from a die cast standpoint, we've seen some of the more premium brands like Mini GT and Tarmac Works come out with the Ferrari with the Liberty Walk wide body kit. 
but unfortunately it doesn't look like we'll get it in 164 scale with Hot Wheels at a dollar price point which is just a shame guys but when I look at these Ferrari F40s and I think about the Liberty Walk licensing right now it just makes me think what could have been what kind of awesome dollar 18 models we could be picking up right now with this kind of collaboration from Hot Wheels but for now I guess the Ferrari F40s even the more vintage ones from way back in the day will have to suffice and to be honest they don't look too bad just like this but we can all dream right but that's what I got for you guys today just wanted to go through and showcase Liberty Walk explain why it's so cool everything based on a real car the collaboration really elevating JDM and definitely keeping us diecast collectors waiting with heavy anticipation at the edge of our seats for what Hot Wheels and Liberty Walk will come up with next. But that's what I got for you guys today. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time on Diecast Cars.